The overall goal of this procedure is to grow neonatal ovaries and or individual ovarian follicles in vitro. This is accomplished by first dissecting ovaries from cold females of the appropriate age. The second step is to prepare the tissue, including fine dissection of individual ovarian follicles with acupuncture needles. Then, the neonatal ovaries or individual preantral follicles are cultured with regular feeding, and the final step is to fix or freeze the tissue for histological or molecular analysis. Ultimately, the culture system supports development in a highly physiological manner and can be used to examine the regulation of ovarian follicle development and to investigate interactions between primordial and growing ovarian follicles. The main advantage of this technique is that intact ovarian follicles are supported through follicle development, maintaining their three-dimensional structure without the need of supporting matrices. This method can help answer key questions in the ovarian biology field and also to help investigate the effects of toxic compounds such as chemotherapy drugs on the ovary and hence female fertility. We first had the idea for co-culturing different ages and hence stages of ovarian follicles when discussing how to investigate the effects of growing follicles on the resting primordial follicle pool. Demonstrating the technique alongside Steph Morgan and Lisa Campbell will be Vivian Allison, a technician from the laboratory, and Alison Murray, who was a postdoctoral scientist in the lab for many years. Both of them helped develop key aspects of the technique. To pull the pipettes for this protocol, heat and bend glass pipettes.